Now coming to the concept of break. Break means whenever you execute the break statement, the execution come out of the loop. Let's try to understand how it will how we are going to use it with an example. See, this is for i in range of 1, 8. This loop is going to execute for values 1, 2, 3, up to 7. So the body of the loop, these three lines of code belongs to the body of the loop. Why you know? We followed indentation. And what we have written inside this body of the loop? If i modulus 5 equal to 0, means i is a number, if it is divisible by 5, modulus 5 means it is going to give you reminder value. If i mod 5 is 0, 0 equal to 0, true, otherwise it is false. If the number is divisible by 5, then go inside the if statement. That's why again indentation follows here. Most of them will get confused. So indentation, if statement has to follow indentation. This is body of if. Whenever this condition is true, break statement is going to execute. Means it will come out of the loop. Let's try to understand uh, this example. We'll analyze the example. For i is equal to 1, go inside, execute the body of the loop. 1 modulus 5 equal to 0. No, false. Don't go inside the if statement because condition is false. Execute print i. 1 is going to be displayed. Next, i is equal to 2. 2 modulus 5, not equal to 0. So, 2 is going to display. Don't go inside the if statement because condition is false. Next, i is equal to 3. 3 modulus 5, not equal to 0. So, come out of if condition, print i. Next, i is equal to 4. 4 modulus 5, not equal to 0. Again, 4 is going to be displayed. Next value is 5. 5 modulus 5, equal to 0. The condition is true. Go inside and execute the statement. What is the statement? We got break statement. Whenever you encountered break statement, come out of the loop. Execution jumps from here to out of the loop. What is the code that present out of the loop? Print end of loop. So this is the output you are going to be displayed. What are the values you are going to get? 1, 2, 3, 4. 